Ayuatig, si Senator uh, Bongo. So I think may representante rin siya. And um, to all those who are here, uh, thank you very much uh, for coming today um, to this hearing. Firstly, let me say that um, we are um, 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 we are um, contending with a very aggressive deadline, and that is to be able to come up with a committee report um, round about SONA time. So by the end of July, kailangan may report tayo, PWG at uh, iba pa. Eh, kaya nga, uh, hinihimay na natin ng iba-ibang uh, iba uh, request. So I think for this hearing, if the Secretary will uh, call on uh, the different resource persons and if Senator Binay uh, would also like to talk, ang uh, ating uh, isang agenda ay yung hybrid election. Kasi working backwards, we all understand that by 2022, baka wala lang time, baka hindi pa tayo nakapag-report out sa ngayon. So uh, I'd like to recognize and thank all those from the OST, the ICT, and uh, the former Comelec IT groups, as well as the NGOs and stakeholders. Perhaps Secretary Dana can go ahead and acknowledge each and everyone and proceed with the presentations if Senator B. Um, um, has no preliminary statement. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to acknowledge the presence of our guests from Comelec, Director Esther L. Villaflor Rojas, Director John Rex C. Laudianco, At Attorney Albert Leonard Rodriguez, Attorney Suzanne De La Cruz Reyes, from DICT CAC, ASEC, uh, Assistant Secretary Emmanuel Ray R. Kaintik, Attorney Chad Martin Mosposo, from DOST Tech, Engineer Peter Antonio B. Banzon, Mr. Reynaldo Joseph L. A. Callao, from DBM, Ms. Rosario Dalisay, from PPCRV, Ms. Maribel Buenaobra, Mr. Romel Bernardo, from GPTB, Attorney Elaine P. Galias. From, from Damfrel, Mr. Eric Alvia, Mr. Lito Averia. From Lente, Attorney Rona Ann Vicaritos. From, from Democracy Watch, Mr. Francesco Papo Pangalanan. From CENPEG, Dr. Nelson Celis. From, from Philippine Linux Users Group, Dr. Pablo Manalastas. From Globe Telecom, Ms. Lali Josue. From Smart Communications Inc., Attorney Roy Cecil D. Ibay. Our, our IT experts, Attorney Ivan Uri, Mr. Jeffrey D., Attorney Hubert Guevara. Uh, that's all for now. Who else? Who else that I have not acknowledged? Okay, thank you very much. So uh, we're talking uh, about the bill from no less than the Senate President himself, uh, Tito Soto. And uh, ito nga, uh, working backwards, kinakailangan na matapos na natin at uh, makapag-recommend na yung committee ng ating uh, uh, pinakamahusay na kombinasyon ng manual, hybrid, at karagdagang technologies. So right now, I think... Um, uh, there have been uh, several uh, volunteers to present. Is that correct, Secretary Dana? Ang pagkakalam ko may mga recommendation din ang um, iba't ibang grupo. I'd like to acknowledge rin dito kasi medyo kilala ko na rin yung taga Smart and Globe dahil kayo naman ang mahawak ng tinatawag na digital highway at uh, siguro may input rin kayo lalong-lalong na sa mga precautionary measures na pwedeng ilagay para sa ating mga eleksyon na nasa ubilanan. So yung ating mga suki din sa stakeholders, si uh, Professor Celis, at uh, yung mga tropa sa lente, yung mga grupo rin ni uh, Dr. Casiple. Maraming salamat sa so, walang uh, pagod ninyong pagsisipot sa mga meeting na ito. In the meantime, Dina, sino ang unang natin na magpapresent? Uh, for now, si Dr. Pablo Manalastas po. Okay, uh, Senator Binay, kung uh, meron kayong manifestation o makikinig muna sa'yo dahil. 
Uh, we can proceed, um, Chen Aimi. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, uh, may we call on Mr. Manalastas to please make a brief presentation at uh, makinig tayong lahat. Uh, this is Pablo Manalastas of the Philippine Linux Research Group. I have two uh, topics I want to propose to the group. Uh, actually, the first one is a question about uh, Section 8, 10, and 12 of the Senate Bill Number 7. I want to uh, tell you how I understood these three sections uh, by reading my notes. When the Board of Election Inspectors publicly count the votes by Section 8, my question is, where do they record their counts or tallies? Section 12 explicitly disallows the use of a tally board. Instead, it specifies the use of a real-time projector so that the public can see the tally as the count is taking place real-time. Furthermore, Section 10 specifies that an independent technician shall, uh, I call this guy, uh, IT guy, independent technician, shall enter the votes into a digital spreadsheet. Will he be using Microsoft Excel or LibreOffice Calc? And this spreadsheet shall also be projected on the screen for the public to see. Now, the question is, if the BEI is not allowed to use a tally board, can they use a large sheet of paper to serve as a tally sheet? If they cannot use a tally board or a tally sheet, does this mean that there is only one tally that the public can see? And this is the spreadsheet projected by the IT guy. In this case, it means that in reality, there is only one tally. The one that the IT guy is entering on the spreadsheet and at the same time projecting on the screen for the public to see. If there is in reality only one tally, then the provision in section 10 lines 20 to 21 should there be a discrepancy between the digital election return and the manual election return results in, in the manual election return shall prevail? This is a useless provision since both DER, digital election return, and MER, the manual election return, will in effect be one and the same. So it has to be clarified exactly how many tallies will, will actually be allowed. It's not clear to me that uh, there is a manual tally because the Board of Election Inspectors are not recording whatever tallies they are doing. Uh, next item about uh, Section 10, the digital election return. What I think is that uh, we need a correct understanding of current spreadsheet technology and current PKI, PKI digital signing technology. Uh, these are both necessary for the proper English wording of Section 10. I think Section 10 is not worded out in correct technical English. Uh, it is as if a computer consultant did not help in crafting this section. While the tally of votes is being carried out and the digital spreadsheet is being projected on the screen in real time, the IT guy can make a mistake in entering the taras or vote after the candidate's name. He can make such mistakes because he is human and humans make mistakes. That is why the IT guy must be allowed to make changes the TARAS assignment according to a procedure that has to be uh, that has to be agreed upon. One procedure is the following, and I'm suggesting this procedure. As soon as a poll official or watcher or the public notices that the IT guy has made a mistake in entering a TARAS, his attention should immediately be called and the spreadsheet should be corrected at once in full view of the public while the while the TARAS is erased from the wrong candidate's name and placed after the correct candidate's name. And while this correction is being done, the projector is showing the correction in real time. I'm uh, 
pointing this out because there is a statement in the uh, in the in the proposed bill saying that the uh, spreadsheet cannot be modified in any way. That is wrong because while the spreadsheet is being created, people should be able to modify it in order to correct errors. After the counting is finished at the end of election day, and after the digital election return is saved on a secure SD card as a DER digital election return file, the three members of the BEI, Chairman for Clerk and I don't know the name of the other position, will digitally sign the DER file. They, do, they don't digitally encrypt the the SD card or the medium. Uh, they digitally sign using their individual uh, private signing keys. This digital signing will preserve the authenticity of the DER file and prevent any duck-duck powers from happening. After the digitally signed DER file, digital election return file, is saved on the secure SD card, the SD card can be set to read-only mode. The, there are SD cards that can be set to read only after it's written, but only after what you want to be written are already written to the SD card. Uh, you put the SD card in read only mode so that no changes to any file on the card can be made after you've made it read only. I'm suggesting in section 10 that we add something about the a format of the digital election return. The digital election return file should be saved from the spreadsheet file into a comma delimited text file. The CDF file is a plain text file and should be the standard format of the DER file. The advantage of the CDF format for the DER file, digital election return file, is that the CDF can be read by all receivers of the file. Uh, like, for example, the Municipal Canvassing Center, the uh, uh, PPCRB uh, servers, and, uh, uh, and the NGOs, and will not require any special programs to understand them. After verification of the digital signature the three BI of the three BI officials, in order to ensure that no that Bawas happened, and that the DR file is authentic, the CDF format DR file can immediately be used for canvassing at the higher levels without use of any special program, simply because the CDF format is human readable text file. Unlike the file formats used by Smartmatic, which is binary file and uses special programs made only by Smartmatic and supplied only by them. This, this is, I think, uh, very important that everyone is able to verify the authenticity and use the resulting authentic file in further processing. If the CD format is used, both the COMELEC and non-governmental organizations, after ver verifying, that the CDF file is authentic can do their own canvas and check its others canvases and they should produce the same count because each one of them is capable of verifying authenticity of documents used for their individual canvases. That's my uh, first uh, set of comments for Senate Bill number seven. And then I have a second set of comments uh, which is a proposal for a mix of election systems for the Philippine elections of 2022. Uh, so uh, Dr. Manalastas? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, we're already in our nine minute mark. So, oh, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so, probably we can, uh, for the next, um, next set, of comments maybe Dana, Dana, yeah. Um, yes. 
Doctor, I uh, understand that you have uh, you have a submission. I uh, received it, and the second part of your submission indicates that what you're thinking about is a hybrid system, and then in other places where um, there's a um, uh, I don't quite understand the full complement of watchers, and other places when there's no full complement of all watchers, you are thinking that should be a fully automated system. So, the long system, para mahirap tanggapin yata na tao yan, na iba-iba. Actually, if you if you read the first part of my proposal, the smart math, the smart math system is favored by uh, the PEI in many places because it makes their job so easy. Tama. It, it's not something that people like because people want to see people want to see the uh, counting and canvassing being done in that's right uh, but there are only very few places I was an election uh, I, I was a watcher for PVCRV in one or two elections in the past before computerization happened and I was the only watcher. There were only three people in the. Uh, I was a watcher in Casson um, Avenue corner. I see. I see. Uh, there's a school, um, maritime school near. Um, Pinapanood namin yung cable girls. Apa apa. Las chicas. Anyway, the, 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 there are only there were only two people in the precinct. And there were no watchers at all except for the TTCRB watcher, who is me. Yeah. And the only the two. No, no, papalit po tayo. Papalit palit tayo ng sistema. Depende kung sino sino sumipot ng watcher. Eh, hindi naman natin masasakit kung sino makakasipot sa araw na yun. Kaya medyo mahirap yata yung depende sa may watcher at hindi uh, sumipot yung watcher, biglang mag-hybrid o fully automated. Uh, and anyway, the proposal, I think, is based on uh, previous experience. And uh, I, I think if uh, political parties can commit to produce their complete list of watchers one year before election time. The, one year book? I think. Uh, if a political party is serious, uh, because you have to give one elect time to prepare the two technologies, because you will be using two technologies. The problem with uh, past elections is the COMELEC didn't have enough time to properly prepare. I think even if you're just saying you'll be using a spreadsheet, you need other support programs. It's not just a question of using spreadsheets. You need so many support programs, like uh, you need programs to automatically prepare the, the templates for each of the around 56,000 uh, ERs, so that the names are already printed there in those ERs uh, and leaving space for the number of votes and so on. I mean, ma many of these things can be computerized, even if you're doing a manual count. Okay, thank you very much, Paul. Um, thank you. Are there any uh, questions or is there a uh, subsequent presentation, Dina? Uh, from attorney, uh, for attorney Bert Guevara, Paul. Guevara. Attorney Hubert Guevara. Hubert Guevara. Who are you representing, Attorney Guevara? Pa? Uh, do you represent the group or are you coming as an individual? I'm a, I'm a source code reviewer, uh, Madam Senator. Uh? For the past, uh, I'm a source code reviewer. Madam Senator. group. Sorry, I don't hear very well. Uh, Madam Senator, I'm a, it's my advocacy, it's a personal advocacy. And I was a source code reviewer for 2016 and 2019 elections. Yes, but you're not representing any NGO or other electoral uh, um, stakeholders group? Uh, no, no, Madam Senator. Uh, okay. 
Was there a uh, position paper previously submitted, like Dr. Manalas has? Uh, not, Madam Sir. I, in fact, I okay. just got the bill when I got the invite from uh, Attorney Dana, but I can submit the position paper uh, All right. in the, uh, until the three days. But there's a few okay. recommendations, now, Madam Senator. All right, please. Um, on Section 5, Madam Senator, uh, it speaks of the printing of official ballots. Uh, it says here, if I may uh, just read, the printing of official ballots shall be exclusively done by the National Printing Office. If I may add, using the printing machine, machines that it owns. Padagdag lang po yun. Kasi ang pagkakaitin namin po. Yes. Ano daw yung printing machine? Medyo mahina internet pa sa yan siya. Dito na rin eh. Yes, mama. Ano raw? Gusto ko lang po ipadagdag is that yung mga Yung, yung official ballot shall be printed by the National Printing Office. Yes, I understand. Yes, uh, I, I have I have with me the bill. Thank you. Yeah, you. you see uh, the ano yung gusto mo? Sorry. Dagdag lang po yon. Ano yung dagdag? Previous election. Uh, using using. Ano yung dagdag sa section five? Sorry. Yeah, uh, the, the phrase that I'm going to say is using the printing machines it owns. Madam Chair, can you hear me? I'm sorry, Attorney Guevara, you lost me. Yeah, Madam Chair, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me, Madam Chair? Yeah. Hello. Uh, Dana, can you hear me, Dana? A little bit. Ma mahina po, Attorney Guevara. Mahina yung... Uh, I will just uh, turn off my video para kung marinig mo lang. Can you hear me now, uh, Dina? Yes. Yes, clear now, clear. Oh. Little bit. Oh. Yes. Uh, pa Padagdag lang, Madam Chair, na yung uh, the phrase using the machine, printing machines it owns. Kasi using the machine? Uh, using the printing machines it owns. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ay, yung walang subcontract, subcontract sa mga alanganin ng mga printers sa uh, iba't ibang apartment houses now. Yes po, opo. I understand. Okay. Pangalawa po, uh, uh, Madam Chair, uh, ang, ang tanong ko lang dito, kasi merong mga provision dito, lalo na sa Section 10, sa Digital Election Returns po, naka-indicate po dito, yung pag-transmit sa secure servers. Ang ang tanong lang po dito is ano po ang ibig sabihin ng secure servers? Ano po ang mga servers na ito? Base po sa aming pagsusuri at pag-experience uh, po nung 2016 at 2013, 2016 at 2019 elections, umamin po ang si Comelec po na meron po sila ginagamit na uh, transmission router server. Ang pagkakaintindi po natin uh, lahat na mula sa presinto, binabato ang mga election return kagad sa Pomalek server o sa transparency server. Hindi po na, na ipakita sa atin na bago ibato pala sa transparency server o sa Pomalek server, sa National Canvassing Service Center server, meron pala tinatawag na transmission router server. Ang tanong lang po dito is meron ho ba tayong gagamitin na transmission router server sa hybrid elections na ito? Bakit po importante ang malaman ito? Importante po natin malaman to na kung meron tayong gagamitin na transmission router server, dapat po sa larangan po ng transparency ng election, dapat po natin malaman kung sino-sino ang namamahala sa transmission router server na ito, saan po ito nakalagay, Sino po ang pwedeng magmanipula at pwede po mag, uh, gumamit ng transmission router server na ito? Ang, ang, ang problema kasi dito, kung ang resulta mo sa presinto ay 10, dapat po pagdating mo sa transparency, sa canvassing center, sa NASA, sa Comelec server, dapat 10 po rin dang, dapat ibaba ito. Uh, hindi po natin alam kung noong 2019 lalo na, kung sino ang namamahala dito sa transmission router na ito at kung meron pong pumasok na tao at meron pong gumalaw sa router na server na ito. Yan lang po, uh, 
Uh, isa po, number three po, Madam Chair, ang gusto ko po malaman ay ito pong memory card. Ang laptop po na gagamitin po ay merong memory card. Ang tanong po lang po naman dito, si Madam Chair, kasi hindi po malinaw dito sa bill na to, is ito memory card na ba ito, sino po mag-generate na to? At saan po i-generate ang memory card? Diyan po ba sa Laguna? Paano po po, po ang memory card ay naging corrupt? Nakorrupt po siya. At ang isang laptop ay sabi natin nasa Cagayan de Oro. Mula ba sa Laguna dadali ng memory card at papadala sa Cagayan de Oro para magamit doon? O magkakaroon na naman po tayo ng tinatawag na uh, regional hub? Ano po, ang, uh, ano po ang sistema ng regional hub? Siguro po para lang mas malinaw natin, uh, malaban at, at mailagay na rin sa batas natin ang mga kalakarang ito, Siguro po mas maganda na i-discuss na rin dito sa batas, ano kalang batas, yung mga aspeto nito, regional hub, transmission router server kung meron po. Yan lang po, Madam Chair, ang aking mong kaya po. Salamat po. Yes, thank you very much, Attorney Guevara. Parang narinig ko naman yung pagkakit ko. Okay. Uh, uh, Dana, siguro marami talagang katanungan tungkol dito sa mga digital ER, pati memory card, uh, lahat ng uh, mga SD at kung ano na pang uh, mga sinasabing digital. Um, Kapo ninyo, um, merong more or less na consensus na na yung actual voting ay eh, gagawin pa rin dun sa iturang na uh, yung iturang ginagamit natin ngayon. Ano? Wala naman tanong dun. Ang question lang if you could simplify it and instead of the ovals, gawa na lang ng one line na square and uh, similar to the lotto para very familiar sa lahat. I'd like to recognize also my good friend, Senator Francis Tolentino, na malalimlin ng hukot, katulad ng kapatid ko sa mga bagay-bagay tungkol sa eleksyon. Uh, Maliban dyan, afternoon, Francis. Okay. And um, yes, um, I think those are significant points, and I really have to call on the IT groups here to uh, please come and help. So, are there any um, are there any comments or suggestions with regard to the uh, queries raised by Attorney Guevara? Was that uh, Dindo the not raising his hand, or were you just checking your signal? Are there any questions or uh, perhaps uh, Senator Francis would uh, like to make a statement? We're trying to get through, Francis, yung medyo pinag-uusapan natin, talagang uh, yung tuluhan, anong pa rin, pero pwera sa oval para hindi magkamali kasi dun sa both ends, eh talagang nagkakaproblema. Gawin na lang square or rectangular para nababasa ng computer na walang mintis. Tapos imbes na shade, shade, i-check na lang, i-cross o i-linya uh, katulad ng loto. So parang dun nakakasundo pa so far. Ang problema natin, yung uh, manual counting, kumbaga, sa ating presinto. Kasi yun ang gusto ng tao, sabi nga ni uh, uh, Professor Manalastas, ayaw ng tao na sinusuko yung balota, tapos hindi na nila nakikita yung bilangan. Yun talaga malaking problema, hindi tangkap ng Pilipino na hindi nakikita yung bilangan. So dun sa bill ni Senate President, may para system whether manual or digital through a projector, makikita pa rin sa precinct level ng tao yung mga boto being tallied. So, kumbaga, whether it's done through projector or through the old school teacher with a piece of chalk on a blackboard, whichever it is, there will be a manual precinct count. Tama po ba yun? Yeah. Any reactions po to uh, what we've said or agreed upon so far? Is that Mr. Donato raising his hand or are you checking signal po? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Yes, Apo Donato, please, uh, please uh, proceed. Yes, ma'am. Actually, we, we, we just want to, this is Dinto Donato from Tandem. We just want to raise one point to make it simple. We would like the tally open. So during the last hearing, there was a presentation yes. that they will show each ballot on the screen. So that's fine. Uh, showing each ballot. But for us, 
that's not enough. It, the time, aside from the ballot, that should be shown. So what should be, aside from the ballot, it's a projector, it's... I'm sorry, aside from the ballot, and you Ha? Tali, ma'am, the tali. That's oh, yeah, of course. Of course, siyempre yung tali, pagkatapos yung tara ng teacher, kung old school, o kung may pera tayo, ipoproject, tama ba yun? Yes, ma'am. As, as long as it's shown, then we're okay. Yeah. Yes, I uh, I mean receipt of your uh, of your uh, position paper that you kindly submitted nung last year pa. And uh, we are in agreement that uh, the uh, public demand, Filipinos demand that there should be an open count in addition to free voting. Tama po ba? Yun ang uh, point natin lahat. Yes, that's all ma'am. Yeah. Yes, o, oh, sangayon tayo dyan. Gusto talaga natin makita eh. Hindi tayo makontento eh. Susubo sa machine at bahala na yung makina sa buhay natin. Ayaw tayo pumayag ng ganon. So, how would that be workable? As a general rule, parating nag-o-object dyan, lahat ng mga taga-Mindanao. Sa atin atin na lang, alam naman ninyo, talaga naman yan ang reklamo at daing nila na kapag may manual voting sa precinct level, baka mag-umpisa na naman ang puto ang gulo, ang walang katapos ang brownout, uh, ang uh, ballot snatching, ang uh, ballot box snatching, at kung ano-ano pang mga karumaldumal na events. So, eto ang iniiwasan. Ano naman ang maisasagot natin sa ganyan? Kung imamanual, kahit projected manual, yung ating uh, uh, precinct count, eh, paano naman natin maiiwasan ang karahasan? Ang balik karahasan, yun ang problema. Kasi magre-reklamo talaga yung mga politiko dyan. Okay, uh, ako na nato, you uh, have a follow-up uh, idea? Yes, ma'am. Basically, if, if to, to speed up the count, we will just use the receipts. The names are already there. And then, I believe in the new system, there's, there will be only 200 voters per precinct. By 12 o'clock, it's done. Maybe in two to three hours, it's done. So usually, violence will result if your count would extend like for one week, several days. Ayan na. Uwe, lasing, mag-aaway na yan. But if you finish that on the same night, two to three hours, we can avoid the violence, I think. So I think that's a very real point that you do it quickly and therefore painlessly. May ganon talaga, may factor na ganon. Kaya nga lang, alam naman natin, talagang uh, kung minsan, marami pa rin nangyayari, ano? So I think is that uh, Eric Alvia, tama po ba yun, who's raising his hand? I'd like to recognize. I see Toti Casino also uh, raising his hand, so we'll follow that sequence. Eric, please. Yes, Eric, please. Welcome to Della Rosa Tool Park. Eric Alvia, please, uh, you may proceed. Medyo na mawala pa si Toti Casino muna, and then we go back to Eric, who was ahead. Uh, Toti, if you would. Yes, uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, I concur with uh, Attorney Dindo Bonato. We can have the results generated. Instantly, we can already transmit it and have it displayed on a website. I'm sorry, what will be displayed on the website? Sorry, what what would be displayed on the website, please? The, the, uh, the results of the preset level. So, the website shall contain every single preset level. As you study it and you have it on the Tara, as, as, the, as the people see it, Immediately, the results can be uploaded on a website that will have the preset total of the particular district or local municipality. 
Ah, uh, magtoti. Actually, manong toti, kung uh, tutuusin, yung nakaraang uh, hearing, hindi na lamang website, kundi an entirely dynamic uh, procedure, meaning na ila live stream lahat ito. Hanggat maaari, ila live stream. Siyempre, depende na naman sa wifi, sa meeting pa lang na ito, hirap na hirap na tayo sa signal. Kaya medyo ambisyoso nga itong sinasabi. Pero ideally, ila live stream, kapag hindi live stream, may pinag-uusapan na may a ng mga media, filmmaker, at uh, kung sino-sino pang mga um, stakeholders ang ating uh, NAMFREL, ang BPCRB, na i-film na rin ang bilangan para talagang uh, sigurado tayo. And like you said, kung talagang hindi kaya yung live streaming, i-upload agad-agad sa website. Tama po ba yun? Yung ideal kasi live stream. Yes, yes ma'am. But uh, as we, for practical purposes, Maliit lang ang buy, uh, maliit lang ang uh, size in terms of transmitting uh, data than uh, video. So instantly, you can already have the results flashed on the screen, and you can already check from your own uh, camera to see whether the results are equally what is already posted on the website. The website is the minimum. The video stream is the maximum. But at least on a website, it's already physically uh, transported or transmitted on the on on a on a public uh, public site. Okay. Yes. Uh, sang ayon tayo dyan. I seem to see on my screen na uh, Commissioner Casquejo na tapos na po ba yung uh, inyong uh, uh, unbox. So Commissioner Casquejo is uh, with us. I see. Tapos na po yung end back ninyo. You can join the hearing na po. Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. So, we we'll just recognize Eric Alvia, then we will allow uh, Commissioner Casquejo to make his presentation. Uh, Eric, um, Eric Alvia, uh, if you are able to uh, get through, please proceed. Yes, ma'am. Uh... Yes, ma'am. Okay, unmute na lang kasi nag-automatic mute kayo. Okay, Dana, mukhang uh, may problema pa rin si Eric sa kanyang uh, signal. Eric, uh, can you come through? Oh, ayan, wala ka lang uh, unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, we agree, ma'am, uh, with regards to what you mentioned, that definitely uh, transmission has to be uh, in an automated manner. We also agree that uh, some form of tallying after the manual count has to be done. But we realize also the difficulty. We've already submitted our papers since last year. And yes. We've studied since last year. We said, just now, uh, I think the mechanics that has to be done and be focused on would be one on how to make the counting transparent as possible. Uh, one is we can either adopt the existing uh, shading uh, system for the battle, or we can come out with a different uh, battle form. Uh, it could be probably we can affix the number to a particular candidate. So it would be easier and for the company later on. No? So that's one form. No? And another would be, you know, we've been talking about uh, the digital certificates and the PKI. Probably this could be incorporated in a standard no? for our election, so agnostic of technology. No? So uh, a standard for the machine or the hardware that we will be using another would be the software, the canvassing software. Uh, another probably would be the standards for 
identification for using the digital certificates. So essentially, it's contained in the uh, study in the reports that we submitted to the committee now. So yes, that's right. Support, support your your position. Uh, thank as you very much. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Albia. And uh, that's right. Um, I think we're already in agreement, more or less, with the Comelec as well, that uh, a more uh, a more familiar panel would contain not an oval, yung itlog na sinasabi, kundi medyo square or else uh, rectangular para madali at automatic masahe ng, uh, ng uh, machine. Kasi yung shading dun sa oval, maraming may natitira sa magkabila, eh nagkakaduda pa. So we were thinking, yun nga, na parang loto nga, isang linya na lang, check na lang, catch na lang, tapos sa square or rectangle, para wala nang mali-mali. Pagkatapos noon, yung digital certificates, yung PKI, uh, prahel po tayo. Although, ang sabi naman ng DOSD at DICP, kaya-kaya na raw nila, sabi ni Yusek Rio noon, kaya na raw nilang basahin yung digital signature at every point in the transmission. So, I hope that's correct. Yung software standard, ito medyo bloody to, kasi walang gusto magpaliwanag. Kaya siguro, kailangan na tanungin natin ng uh, maiki sa TWG at the IT. Uh, the IT, sorry, the IT identification sa ating digital certificates. So these are very important points and as you rightly said, you had already uh, submitted a uh, comprehensive uh, position last year pa. So thank you very much for the support. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So, Secretary Dana, is uh, there anyone else or shall we launch into uh, Commissioner Casquejo's uh, PowerPoint? The presentation of Commissioner Casquejo na po, ma'am. Ah, sige. So, we invite Commissioner Marlon to show us his uh, um, presentation regarding the proposals for uh, the uh, new hybrid system. Okay, oh, good afternoon, Madam Chair. Uh, good afternoon sa iba sa mga participants. Uh, we have some good dimensional 2D presentation uh, which we create and then I want it to be played. Uh, I don't know kung na-receive na ba ng secretariat with the two dimensional. Can we play it first? And then after the presentation, I will discuss more on the automated manual counting aspect. I will do also my uh, share. Uh, it's only about two two minute uh I don't know presentation to the presentation that will cover the concept of the uh hybrid automated manual counting. Dina, mapapalabas ba ninyo? Yes po, ma'am. Okay, sige. Why don't you uh, upload it now on our screens para we can share it properly. Okay. Ano ba yun? Um, I-consult ko lang po kung kaya sabay na while we are sharing it. I-share po muna no, before, before Commissioner will talk. We'll, we'll discuss. <laughs> App. Yeah. 
Dana, how are we doing? Uh -uh. Sorry, may technical difficulties. Um, downloading na po. Okay. Uh, it was just email just this morning, Madam Chair. Kaya siguro hindi pa na-download. Through email. At panood ko naman eh. Madali lang na, maliit lang yung file. Mm -hmm. Mabagal po dito, ma'am. Ha? Mabagal po dito. <laughs> Basta ilang minutes. Minutes lang naman. Oo oh, nga. Ala, Dana. Uh, how much longer? Uh. Kung meron po sa file ni Commissioner Casquejo, pwede rin po siyang mag... Kung meron po sa computer niyo, sir, I think uh, you can share na po without, without us giving control po sa inyo. Ayan ang wala ako. Uh, okay po. <laughs> we, we apologize po. Uh -uh. We're still downloading. Doon po kasi sa host computer nagda-download po. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero kanina pa naman binigay yan. Yes po. Um, I apologize ma'am. Hindi po na hindi ko po na, na i-forward po kagad sa host computer. Dito ko po siya nalagay sa aking personal. Ah, uh, then? Pasensya na po. Mag-aano siya, mag-share ng kontrol. Oh, well, Madam Chair, while waiting, siguro Madam Chair, I can proceed with my share of my uh, explanation as to the automated manual counting. Kasi yes, pwede please. Yung, pwede na yung isi-share ko rin. Okay. During the presentation, okay. So, isi-share ko lang. Hanapin ko muna lang sana yan. Andiyan na ba yan yung video? Uh, may lumabas na sa screen? Yes, oo, meron na. Okay, the tally sheet. Okay. Opo. Okay, so the concept of uh, this automated manual counting is we still use uh, the, uh, we still uh, apply the same concept of uh, automated uh, manual voting. We still use the official ballots uh, by shading, but instead of shading, we use now the lotto type. So after the shading of the ballots, after the close of polls, the the electoral board will uh, now arrange uh, using nila yung setup nila with the projector and uh, the bar scanner. So once it is already prepared, uh, nakalagay na, automatic it will display on the projector the tally sheet. The tally sheet, uh, if you notice, this uh, 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 this, is a civil, this is similar to the tally sheet that we are using. And then... If uh, you have here the clustered precinct number, this clustered precinct and barangay and so on and so forth. And then the number of registered voters and the number of ballot scanned or ballot uh, voted is 650. We presume na hindi naman 100% uh, yung voting doon. So we have also a counter of the ballot scan that is 650. So initially, since wala pa tayong nasa scan na ballots, all the votes are zero. So lahat naman dito, we just, uh, example lang is president, vice president, vote as all zero. And then the voter, uh, the, the electoral board now will scan the voter's receipt. 
So once the voter receipt is scanned, the official ballot image, uh, which the voter corresponds to the voter's receipt, will be reflected on the screen. Now what the electoral board chairman will do is holding the voter's receipt, looking at the shaded ballots, uh, he will now verify. The electoral board will verify whether the one that uh, appears in the voter's receipt is the one shaded by the, uh, the, 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 the voter. So in this example, he shaded the uh, number two candidate, Ambrosio Ginto, for president, and number four candidate for the vice president. And then if once the electoral board has already verified that it is a uh, same vote as uh, appearing in the ballot image, and the one holding uh, with the voter's receipt, then after that one, he will click the accept button. So after verifying, then the electoral board will click the accept button. Once it is accepted, then automatic it will tally. If you notice, there is a tally vote for Jared and a tally vote for Claridad Kase. And pwede naman i-verify niya ulit kung tama ba yung tally. Then after that one, we will click next for the next ballot to be scanned. For the next ballot to be scanned, then click the get the the other voters receipt then ballot scan if you notice again it will display the ballot image corresponding to the voters receipt so it check na ulit ng electoral board kung tama ba yung binoto dito uh, vis a vis doon sa hawak niya na voters receipt and that can be seen by the watchers at the back so yung mga watcher of ni chairman yung voters receipt, makikita nila na yung nakasulat doon, ang binoto is number uh, two candidate. And then, ang lalabas doon na sinaid nila ng botante is number two also. So once uh, it is again verified, then the, the electoral board will just click accept. So once it is accepted, automatically, it will tally. So once accepted the votes, so the, the, the votes, then it will tally, if you notice, may boto na si Ginto. And also with the vice president, may boto na rin. And then that will proceed, continue lang yung process until such time na tapos na yung the last ballot, uh, tapos na na scan. If you notice, a uh, ballot scan is 2 out of 650. So another... Balos ka. So example ko lang dito is tatlong balot. And then after this one, uh, that will be the end of the 650 of the 650 balot. So in, in this uh, kind of presentation, nakikita ng mga uh, watchers, voters, and the public uh, projected on the screen on how the ballots is being read and canvas uh, and consolidated. So, ito, if you notice, may boto na rin. And then also si the number five candidate may boto. And then next. And then the last will be, uh, the last ballot, if you notice, uh, if you say we have the last ballot, that is 650 of 650 ballots scan. So, once that's you scan na lahat, then that's it. That's the end of the automated manual counting. So, that is the, that is the gist of the enhancement uh, that I prepared for that, Madam Chair. Yes, uh, Commissioner Casquejo. I think the primary question here is, um, are we done or are we going to interrupt? Sorry. Uh, okay, now, okay, na po, Chair. Okay, okay, na po, Madam Chair. Hindi, kasi yeah. pinag-usapan na natin to, at medyo magkasundo na tayo sa itsura ng balot. Ayun nga, mga square o kaya rectangular, tapos loto type, hindi na shading-shading para wala ng diskusyon. Tapos pinag-usapan natin na may projector at magbibilanan. Ang problema kasi, maraming nag-o-object pa rin, kasi instead na manual count that will corroborate the the uh, ER, ang problema kasi, uh, yung ER pa rin ang uuwian which is still uh, tantamount to a machine count. So yung hinihingi ng iba, 
yung actual manual count doon sa projector laban sa pinasubol sa machine. Ano po sa tingin ninyo? Kasi maraming uh, politiko na makiwari nila, gusto pa rin nila may hawak silang manual count sa presinto. Whether through projector o yung tara-tara system ng ating mga guro na nasa chalk at uh, blackboard. Ano pa sa tingin ninyo? Uh, yes, kasi uh, pareho rin uh, pareho rin nga uh, electronic yun eh. Yes, 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 Madam Chair. Uh, we can include that in the, the transmission, yung, tara, yung tally sheet. So we can include that in the transmission tally sheet so that uh, they can download it and then they can have it printed. So they have a copy of the automated tally sheet that was uh, done, uh, although automatically or through automated. Pero, pero hindi ba, Commissioner, after the fact na yun, uh, kasi bilang na eh. Pero during the counting, may gusto sila na talagang makita yung counting, whether projected or, hin or, uh, or uh, old school. Eh, gusto nila makita yon laban sa mga, mga balota na sinusubo sa machine. Uh, pwede ba natin gawin yon so that you have a manual count and then you have the ER na in the event of a dispute or a, a, a difference. Wala po eh, yun yun yung kaming madinig. Sorry? Well, wala po kaming madinig ng audio. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, uh, Madam Chair, that is also possible. Uh, that will be a count of the automated and the manual. But uh, we need additional manpower for that uh, because yes. aside from uh, aside from uh, doing the scanning and also the the manual counting, you need additional manpower and also additional uh, budget for the additional paper. Well, but that is possible. I cannot hear any audio. Magkaroon tayo ng ano, uh, parallel uh, manual and uh, automated counting. Yes, Dr. Manalastas, dinig na dinig namin kayo. Yes, uh, Commissioner. Pero di ba natin namang nalagawa natin yan with the teachers? Uh, even without uh, the digital at that point in time? Uh, since 2010 elections, wala na tayong uh, manual tally sheet. Uh, kasi ang um, equivalent doon is yung, elect, uh, yung ERs na lang, election returns na lang ang equivalent doon. And then automatic, right. uh, uh, in so, the okay, seconds, right. tapos na. Tama, everything went hmm. not to the automatic and yes. uh, automated. Um, I wanted to ask also, yung iba naman may duda kasi nagkaroon na tayo ng discrepancy between the resibo and the ballot. So, is it possible na tulad ng grocery, lagyan na lang ng barcode kasi balota? Uh, yung barcode kasi natin, uh, it was implemented in 2010, 2013, 2016. Ngayon lang sa 2019, para nag-enhance yung ano natin, yung balota natin, we use the QR code. So, we yes. can always go back to barcodes naman. Wala namang problema doon kasi it's just uh, more on the, yung maraming laman lang kasi yung QR code but there are things naman doon na laman na hindi naman kailangan. So, we can always go back to the barcode of the ballot, ah, you know, ating official ballots. Yes, yeah, I think so we'll... Doon. Yes po, we'll leave it to the technical people. The barcode clearly is infinitely yes. simpler. But what I'm asking for is... I have lost audio. Yes, uh, doctor, we can hear you po. What I was asking uh, Commissioner po is the distinction kasi dun sa balota, wala naman siyang barcode or QR, nasa receipt. What if we put it also in the ballot para wala nang, uh, wala nang duda na iba yung content ng resibo at uh, iba pa? Uh, sa 2019, Madam Chair, we have QR code both in the ballot and the oh, yes. first receipt. Uh -oh. And if you want, uh, if uh, babalik tayo sa, sa barcode, so wala nang problema, it will be easier and simpler pag barcode naman. Kapag barcode, pwede kahit dalawa, di ba yung, yung balota mismo at yung resibo mismo, may barcode yes. na yes. Yes. Tama po. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi yung QR code naman ng balota at saka yung voter's receipt, pareho lang din. That's the same. Kaya lang kung minsan uh -huh. na... Nagpakaduda kasi hindi nakikita doon. Sabi na may ibang yes. lumalabas sa number. Yes. Masyadong suspechoso Pilipino eh. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Ano ba kapag ang kinatatakusan ko ngayon, commissioner, wala tayong pera dahil naubos, naubos si ata sa COVID. Kapag uh, walang pambili ang gobyerno para sa ating projector, yung ating uh, first option, yun talaga gusto natin, no, i-project para lahat yes. makakita, no, which came for water sa likod. Anong alternatibo? Babalik din tayo sa pencil pen at saka craft paper or blackboard o pwede ba yun? Uh, pwede naman kasi we, we have the screen naman with uh, nandun naman sa screen ng VCM or ng machine. Kaya lang medyo maliit tagal, talaga yung screen ng machine natin. We cannot use the old VCM if we apply this uh, concept. We have, to, right. uh, we have to list a new machine with a greater, with a bigger screen and high resolution of the screen para ma-display yung dalawa. Kapag wala tayong dagdag na projector and... Uh, yung bar uh, yung projector or screen uh, that is possible naman na magtara-tara diyan just uh, ma-check lang doon sa projector kaya lang maliit lang talaga yung yung screen ngayon yung machine natin and uh, uh, we have study naman with the amount of the projector and the barcodes it will cost around 25,000 uh, siguro and if we purchase 100,000 of that because we are expecting 100,000 cluster percent we might add a, 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 around 2.5 billion for the projector and the barcode. May pagkukulang kaya tayo ng 2.5 billion kasi kinatatakot ang palagi yung mga budget natin dahil nga sa sitwasyon ngayon. So 2.5 billion uh, doesn't seem to be a huge cost for democracy. What do you think po? Akayanin kaya? Mm, ngayon kasi we presented our budget with the DBM. We are asking about to 24 billion for the all new machines list of machines and then if we add uh, 2.5 billion so we need around 26 billion that is conservative naman po and then uh, that is all new machines so i don't know if the dbm will give uh, uh, the comelec with that budget pag binigyan naman tayo ng budget ng dbm na ganun, then that is possible but if the dbm will cut the budget half then uh, i don't know if we can do that uh, because the old VCM is not capable of projecting because of the uh, smaller screen and the resolution of the screen. Makakatipid na lang po tayo kapag sinabi yung mga LGU at mga iskwelahan na may projector, sila na muna ang uh, mag-amit. Eh, and, ano lang yan uh, sa mga lumang VCM na sinasabi na are inadequate? Yung 2019 VCMs, are you saying that they're uh, inadequate? Uh, hindi naman uh, inadequate in the sense na hindi siya capable of doing the project projecting of the results uh, nung splitting of the screen because of the resolution of the the screen of the uh, of the VCM. So kailangan talagang mag-list tayo ng bago if we implement the automated manual counting. So what I don't know what will happen with the VCM maybe we can uh ipabay back natin sa owner or, sa, ano, or we can do, donate it whatsoever. I see, I see. Um, um, just to interrupt, uh, Dana, Secretary Dana, if uh, there are, if we're not able to uh, open the um, file, still? Ready na po. Ready na po. Okay na? Panawarin natin, maganda eh. Okay.
Okay, maraming salamat. Thank you. Dana? Okay po, panapatanggal ko na lang po yung share screen. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, salamat. Hindi, tinatanong kasi ng iba, marami nagtetek sa akin ngayon na uh, ibang uh, nandyan sa meeting, yung iba naman, uh, mga mirror, alam mo na, eh, hindi daw hybrid ang proposal ni Commissioner Casqueo kasi wala namang manual aspect. Up there, ikokompare lang yung VVPAT at yung ER. Both are produced by the machine. Hindi na po ba pwede na may manual counting done per precinct lang naman. Pag tumugma yung ER at yung uh, manual, eh, saka lang itatransmit. Kasi ang nangyayari raw sa Singapore at sa ibang lugar, kasi yung Singapore ang pinaka-latest na national election, may manual count muna, tapos may, uh, may digital count na electronic to corroborate lang. Ano sa tingin uh, doon sa suggestion na ganun? Na may manual talaga, tapos uh, for verification, uh, may electronic count to follow. Yes, Commissioner Paul. Uh, yes, Commissioner. Dana, can you hear me? Dana? Yes po, narinig ko po kayo. Can you hear me? Commissioner, um, okay rin daw ba kung may manual count mismo, whether projected or not projected, at the precinct level only? Well, uh, yes, yes, Madam Chair. Parang ang nangyari dyan is uh, we're doing the random manual audit at the precinct level. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng parang audit at the, at on all the cluster precincts. Uh, ganun, naging, nag, ganun ang magiging proseso niyan. But the, ang, ang tanong lang dyan, gaano katagal? How long will it take? Uh, how long will it take to have also the parallel manual counting? That's and right. Need kasi, additional manpower. Uh, opo. Kasi the time, in terms of time, may sinasabi tayo na two to four hours, ano, depende. Tapos yung in terms of personnel, talagang wala nang masyadong tao yung COMELEC, although pwede kayo mag-delegate. Tapos, may issue rin yung mga taga-Mindanao na lagi nag-text. Kapag may manual counting sa presinto, mabalik na daw ang karahasan at ang gulo. Baka may electoral violence na naman. Malamang baka ganun ang mangyari, Madam Chair. And uh, alam mo naman na uh, it's been naging rampant na rin yan during the manual elections. I've been through manual elections in 2004 and 2007. Uh, ganun talaga yung naging issue yung violence, uh, threat, intimidation. So, nung naging automated tayo, masaya yung mga teachers natin kasi they are no longer subjected to any threats and intimidation. So, although meron, pero hindi na masyado gaano uh, paired to the manual elections. So, I share the sentiments of the electoral board also kasi sila yung frontliners namin. If we go back to purely manual counting, even if it is parallel with the automated counting, uh, counting uh, pagkakamali lang ng electoral board, makakaroon na ng discrepancy as to the manual and the automated count, then makakaroon na ng problema. Baka magkaroon ng gulo on the present level of that. But uh, then again, uh, it's more on the preparation lang din naman. If patuloy uh, uh, talaga yon, it's more on the preparation and the security of the of our electoral board. Tama po. Kasi uh, Senator Nancy, Senator Francis, yung mga politiko, medyo divided tayo dyan. Yung iba kasi gusto na makita talaga para may pakawakan pag may protesta. Yung iba naman, tinatatakutan na mababalik tayo sa mga dating insidente ng karahasan. Any, um, any opinions po from our senators here present? 
Madam Chair, Madam Chair. Yes, Francis. Is that Francis? Yes, oh. yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, go ahead, Francis. I hope we have a member of the any member of the academy uh, present and listening from our resource persons. Kung wala, para sa lahat na lang. So I, I'm looking at it uh, from the perspective of our current COVID-19 experience. Uh, after after our uh, two weeks ago, I think that was three, two weeks ago, hearing a committee on energy hearing, I, I think Senator Nancy wrote that. I, I have been always uh, thinking out loud that perhaps this, this COVID-19 experience, for instance, in, in terms of the Meralco bill, Meralco, this is, this is related to our topic. Meralco has always explained that the surge in our uh, Meralco billing was probably due to their estimate using technology, etc., etc. And it will apply to all our resource persons. A, a single document will not probably convince you that your billing was just that. You cannot accept that hook, line, and sinker. This is what happened to our consumers. Our consumers would still would, would want to visit a Meralco office and have an explanation bakit kumaas na ganito yung kuryente ko. Gusto pa magkaroon ng person-to-person -person experience. And this is, this is what's gonna happen after the first grading period, second grading period of the DepEd blended uh, teaching module. Parents, students will not be convinced even if the teachers are checking the papers, exam papers or what have you, online. They will have to, to be convinced, ito ba talaga yung grade ko? So, kailangan din magkaroon ng person-to-person, -person, manual checking, validation, etc., etc. And the same goes through with the voting process. Even if uh, the machine would, would say, this is, this is the figure, candidates or even a ward leader would want to have that verified and validated personally. And you cannot do that. You cannot have a validation as to the number of votes talking to a machine or even a, a, a teacher or the head of the Bureau of uh, Board of Election Inspector. So I'm, I'm with the chair, I'm with the, with the sponsors on having a, a hybrid in so far as the validation is concerned, convincing me as a candidate, convincing me as a voter, convincing me as a ward leader that this amount, this account, is a true reflection of the votes garnered in that receipt. Similar to the Meralco, similar to the prospective DepEd experience, which we will be experiencing in a few months from now. So I, I'm I'm with the I'm with the, the good chair, Senator Marcos, that we have to have a we have to have a receipt. We have but the bottom line is to convince personally the voter or the other members of the general public that this reflect the true will of the people in that particular voting center. Uh, that, that's yun lang, yun lang po, uh, yun lang po, Madam Chair. Yun lang po, naka-off naka pala yung ano ko. Naka-off pala yung uh, video. video. Oo. Uh -huh. oh, just, it just goes na hindi pa tayo uh, technology sabi. But the first time with <laughs> this COVID experience, pati yung mga yaya, yung mga nasa bahay, dahil mag-online po yung mga bata, eh, talaga matututo sa computer. Yeah, pero uh, again, the bottom line here is the transparency which we have uh, done through the years na nakikita po natin yung, yung bilangan kahit hanggang alas 2, alas 3 na. Kinagis lang din na po yan. Uh, may mga tala kaming termo sa presinto ng kape para manood lang ng bilangan. Lahat na po oh, natin yeah. yun. Nakita ko na po lahat ng eleksyon. Salamat po, salamat po. Thank you, thank you for your support, Francis. At tama po yun. Ako talaga gusto talaga makita yung actual. Um, Senator Nancy, thank you. Ma Madam oh, Chair? Yes, please, Nancy. Yes. Uh -huh. Madam Chair, gusto ko lang balikan yung nabanggit ni Commissioner Marlon na 24 billion. Yung presentation niya ba kanina, that is the 24 billion type of election? 
Ah, uh, Madam Chair, yes, I I guess that will be the amount because we have to lease a new machines for that. We cannot use the old uh, VCM. Although in my presentation we just use the VCM, but in reality we cannot uh, use the old VCM. It's not capable of uh, projecting uh, split screen for that. Sir Marlon, bidigay niya nato sa DBM for the 2021 budget. Uh, yes, we have already submitted sa uh, DBM, pero hindi kasama yung projector at saka yung barcode, although it's just uh, amounting to 2.5 billion lang naman. Uh, pwede namang hanapan ng budget yan. Uh, but the all new uh, na isubmit na po namin sa DBM and we're still awaiting for the ano, uh, decision ng DBM kung magkano yung ibigay sa amin. And so far, ha, wala pa kayong feedback? Kung, I mean, kasi naman. alam naman ho natin na money is uh, very much a problem uh, yes, ngayon. So, ang, ang laking amount ho ng 24 billion. And just in case oh, that um, DBM will not, uh, cannot give you that amount and um, hindi ho kakayanin na mag-hybrid, what, magkano hmm. ho yung cost if you just uh, do the usual way of conducting our election? If we reuse the vote counting machine that we used in 2019, we have to refurbish it, we have to recondition it and repair it, and then we have to enhance the software. Uh, we have our budget, maybe it will cost half of it, half of the 24 billion that will be uh, uh, needed for the using the same machine. If we go entirely uh, hybrid or manual, balik tayo manual even the transmission, manual pa rin tayo, mas malit yung budget natin. Pero manual tayo, back, back to 20, 2004, 2007 type of elections. Mas maliit doon. Kasi ang nakamahal lang, lang naman doon yung machine mismo eh. Okay. Um, yun lang, uh, Madam Chair. Kasi alam nga natin na yung funding source will be a problem. And ayaw naman natin na pag pinasa natin to, eh, magiging isa siyang uh, unfunded na, na batas. Na alam naman natin, kadalasan ganun ang nangyayari. Yan lang po, Madam yes. Chair. Yes, tama po. I, I uh, quite agree with that. And uh, next month na yung budget, kaya abang kabala yung mga senador dyan dahil baka hindi nga mapundohan sa dinamit dami na kinailangan para sa COVID response. Um, I think there are also comments from Eric Alvia and a uh, number of those who are here na in fact, yung mga laptop at yung mga pangkaraniwang gamit, eh, talaga naman makoconfigure yan to be able to project also, no? to be able to help us, um, even with perhaps old DCMs. Um, I don't know. I think uh, there needs to be a technical examination of all these statements, and uh, we have to figure out how to do that. The other question, kasi, um, with uh, Commissioner Marlon, tinatanong rin sila, ilang pa talaga yung server? Kasi nabanggit kanina yung central server, transparency server, bakit daw uh, tatlo, apat, at uh, lima ang nababanggit na iba't ibang server? Bakit kinailangan yung napakarami? Hindi pa pwede completely linear yung uh, pagtatransmit nito. Uh, Doon lang sa presinto, may dalawa, manual to be verified, tapos magiging ER, yun na ang itatransmit. Eh, bakit daw ang daming pupuntahan? Uh, sa ang pupuntahan talaga, after doon sa uh, clustered prison, sa presinto mismo, ang papuntahan doon is, uh, una is doon sa server, uh, doon papunta sa consolidation, doon sa consolidation, doon sa canvassing center. Next is the transparency server, and then the central server yun lang talaga ang pinupuntahan ng ano ng resulta natin coming from the present level. Yung sinasabi naman nila na may server daw doon sa transmission, it's a technical solution uh, which was discussed even uh, in 2019 in with the CAC and the steering committee and even it was decided uh, by both the PMO and the steering committee and uh, and the CAC that it's a technical solution kaya nga tinawag lang namin yun as a gateway parang it's a not a server it's a gateway uh, para mabilis at walang nawawalang resulta coming from the present level going to the three uh, servers uh, doon sa canvassing center doon sa transparency at sa central server it's a technical solution you see sinasabing apat na server 
which uh, even it was discussed at the uh, meeting namin. With all due respect po, noong 2019, ako'y tumakbo noon, meron po kaming blackout ng pitong oras. Apparently, this technical solution is not a very good one. Uh, iba naman yun, yun Madam Chair. Uh, so, iba naman yun, Madam Chair, kasi ang naging problema doon is not the the transmission coming from the precinct level. Kasi yung precinct level nagtatransmit doon sa transparency server. May findings naman si PPCRV doon na continuous pa rin yung transmission sa transparency server. Ang naging problema lang doon, nung pagkuha ng data from the transparency server, papunta doon sa IBP, uh, sa KBP, at doon papunta sa mga media. Doon ang nagkaroon ng problema. It's not kasi yung transmission from the present level, diretso doon sa, hindi naman ganun yung transmission, kundi doon sa transparency server. And uh, my findings, uh, as I said, my findings yung PPCRV naman doon na continuous yung transmission doon sa transparency server. Nagkaroon lang talaga ng problema. Nung pagkuha ng data from the transparency server, papunta doon sa uh, individual uh, KBP uh, media and the media and the PPCRV. Doon nagka-problema. And uh, again, uh, hindi siya na solutionan agad because uh, at that time, kailangan talaga ng NBank uh, uh, approval yun and it happened gabi o, although we 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 discuss is through viber na lang kasi hindi naman makapag-convene agad ang NBAC at that time kaya medyo na nasolusyonan siya madaling araw na at at, uh, at nasolusyonan din naman namin okay uh, kanina pa nag uh, nagwi-wave si Jeffrey Ian D tama mo ba you had a question Jeffrey D uh, Hi, Senator Aimee. My name is Jeff. I presented for the JCOC in for the 2016 elections. Um, I was uh, requested by the Senate President to be present in the technical working group. So I, I guess it's in the YouTube, but in that presentation, um, we did testify at the uh, Inaffirm naman ang members ng technical working group na yung sinasabing, I don't know what it's called, pero yung sinasabing intermediary server used in the 2016 election and I guess also used in the 2019 election. It's not purely routing eh, because it changes some elements of the packets. So um, so I guess ang issue kasi doon, babalik tayo sa transmission na hindi pa natin dinidiscuss, ang dinidiscuss para natin counting. Um, ang pinag-uusapan kasi dyan is yung transmission route mo na secure uh, paano makikita ng public kung ano yung tadaan ng servers at saka published ba or, or yung reviews ba for each of the servers sa dadaan ng is going to be published. Kasi yun yung, I, I guess yun yung main issue po noong 2016 saka naging issue rin naman noong 2019. Uh, Mr. Uh, Ma'am, sorry, sorry, Ms. Chairman, uh, Ms. Senator. Um, would the Comelec care to answer? Commissioner Marlon, please. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, bago namin na uh, in-implement po yung ano, sinasabing uh, router namin uh, as a technical solution, we have a meeting with the, with the CAC for that, for the advice. And then, yun na nga sinabi ko, unanimously, sinabi naman nila, is, is just a technical solution. And uh, during the, the trusted build, uh, hindi ko pa nga pinatrusted build yung sinasabing router or transmission router kasi we need approval. Uh, from the ACAC and approval from, from the NBAC. Nung na-approve na ng NBAC ng, at ng CAC yun, uh, recommended by the CAC, that's the time pinatrusted build ko. So it is known to the public that there is a transmission router at that time. And uh, not only that, uh, kasama siya sa local source code review. Pinasama namin siya sa local source code review and then wala naman silang nakitang Malaysia or uh, ibang mga codes doon na inserted sa code. So, we did our best to to be known to the public, to the techie persons na uh, alam nila na dumito sa CAC consultation and, and bank resolutions as well as a uh, 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 trusted build and also the local source code review. In 2016, I don't know what happened in 2016, but we, uh, that's why in 2019, when I was uh, designated at the steering com, uh, having idea also about IT, so I make sure na lahat uh, complied para hindi tayo uh, ma-question whatsoever the elections. 
Yes, I think I seem to see in the bed attorney Hubert and Jeffrey B. Um, there have been a follow up questions to uh, um statement earlier that you said it's not merely routing that's being done in the transmission from stage to stage. What are you implying? What else is being done at every stage? Uh, again, Madam Senator, uh, I will just recall. So, Twenty. I don't know if it's last year or 2018. But oh. if I, re, if my memory serves me right, um, during that hearing, um, when we analyzed the server logs, uh, that certain elements of uh, of the packets change. Because when you route, dapat ang nagbabago lang ay yung IP address and destination. Pero in this particular case, certain elements of the like for example, um, names, uh, names hindi lang IP addresses kung hindi um, host names, host destinations nagbabago siya. So like I said, um, hindi ko naman sinasabing dinaya ano, <laughs> sinasabi ko lang po um, from the strict definition of routing, hindi po siya routing at the minimum proxy siya. Ibig sabihin na uh, tinatransform niya ang isang bagay para lumipat ang proxy po. Parang ang routing po kasi dapat parang toll gate lang. Dadaan niyo sa sakyan, tapos may toll gate, sasabihin ng toll gate, saan ka pupunta? Pampanga. O sige, dumaan ka na, pumunta kang Pampanga. Itong ginagawa po nito, hindi eh. Saan ka pupunta? Pampanga. O sige, sandali lang. May ibang kotse na pupunta Pampanga, sumakay ka na lang dun. Parang ganun po yung analogy. Dun sa nangyari. Uh, sorry without... Uh, not going through the details, pero preset naman po namin yung findings namin about that 2016 election. But but it's good. If in the 2019 election, si North Code Review pala, uh, I think it's good. Uh, yun, yun lang po kasi yung open questions during the transmission. Uh, dapat makita rin ng public bawat isang dinadaanan. Hindi lang yung final destination, kung hindi yung bawat isang dadaanan niya. Kasi doon po nagkakaroon ng anumal yan. Yeah, Jeffrey or Attorney Hubert or Eric or uh, Manong Toti, um, do any of you have any um, safety precautions na pwedeng i-recommend para sa every stage? Alam natin that the info package being transmitted is identical and not changing, uh, as you said, from including host names and so on. Ano pa magagawa natin? Abanggit na natin yung digital signature, titignan yung standards at usage ng ID and so on. Uh, ano kaya? Yeah, attorney Hubert, Eric, uh, Sina Yes, please, uh, attorney Hubert, <laughs> Eric Namuna. Eric, yes, please. Eric Alvia, please. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, this is precisely why since the early 2016, NAMP suggested adopting an intentional data. Now, this is consistent with our commitments no? to the to the open data uh, The other countries like for instance, Indonesia, Taiwan, all of the data. No, generated by uh, the process, the electoral process, is transparent, given out to the public, to the voting public. No? So I agree with uh, Mr. T, no, that what he mentioned is that true. No, during the transmission, there may be some changes in the data packet. Uh, we don't know, no, we're not aware. That's precisely why in 2019, we requested COMELEC uh, for certain uh, information or data related to the transmission. Uh, this would boost no, the confidence of the public that nothing is going on and everything is above board and proper. No? And that's just one of uh, the ways where we can improve the integrity of the electoral process and also improve also the confidence of the public that uh, it is transparent and everything is above board. So, uh, in the 2022 elections, I hope COMELEC will allow us this time to uh, implement and adopt. And probably uh, we can even construct uh, and make something for the COMELEC 
kulturan at mobilization of the system. So lahat po pwede pumunta doon. Yung publiko, yung pandit, kandidato, uh, even media no? can access it. it. This is different from the transparency system uh, as, as mentioned. Kasi dapat sa 1969 po, ang nakasaad po doon, dapat simultaneous po yung pagbuga ng datos no? sa mga tumatanggap. Nangyari po, hindi po nasunod yung in the past uh, automated elections. Kaya po, nagkakaroon ng agak-agak. Bilang po. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's ironic given the the signal difficulties that we're having now that we're all recommending uh, live streaming, uh, digital, and uh, other means that uh, apparently are still so defective here uh, in the Philippines. So, Attorney Hubert, are you better now? Can we uh, hear from you? Yes, Attorney Guevara, please. Yes, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me, Madam Chair? Uh, yes, please proceed, me? Attorney Guevara. Okay. Uh, uh, tama yung nasa nabanggit na ni Eric, no? uh, yung tungkol doon sa transmission router server. Ever since naman, since 2016, 2019, hindi naman talaga yung prati namin, ano, uh, binabanggit no kasi doon sa kanilang schematic diagram ng buong sistema ang pinapakita lang nila ay yung pagtransmit mula sa presinto papunta sa BOC transparency server and comlex server hindi nila pinapakita sa kanilang diagram kasi kanino man ay yung trans yung transmission router server na pinupuntahan ng lahat ng mga resulta galing sa presinto Ngayon po, noong 2019, gaya ng sabi ni Eric, gusto natin malaman kung ano yung data packet na nabago sa transmission router server. Importante po natin malaman yon, kasi po, gaya ng nabanggit niyo po, merong 7-hour blackout. Tama naman po yung explanation ni Commissioner Casquel na it had nothing to do with that transparency server. Uh, it had something to do with the transparency server. That is not our issue. Our issue then in 2019 is ano ba ang uh, saan ba located ang transmission router server? Sino ba ang namamahala sa transmission router server? Sino ba ang pumasok kung meron man sa transmission router server? And that was precisely why kami nung kasama ko ng mga source code reviewers, sila uh, Mr. Alex Ramos, uh, sila Godbert, sumulat po kami sa Comelec uh, para base dun sa sabi ni Commissioner Casquero sa publiko, kung meron kayong gustong malaman sa audit logs, sumulat lang kayo sa amin. So ginawa namin, ng grupo namin, the following day, dun nabanggit ni Commissioner Casquero yan, sumulat po kami sa Comelec at hinihingi po namin yung audit logs ng mga ng transmission router server. Para malamin natin, kaya na sabi ni Eric Alvia, Na, ano ba ang mga nabago sa data packet ng transmission router server na yan? Unfortunately, up to now, we have not received any uh, any response from Comelec. Be that as it may, what can I recommend? Number one, for purposes of transparency, I recommend that the location of the transparency router server should be should be uh, um, uh, mentioned to every, to the public. Number two, the names of people manning the transmission router server should also be made known to the public. Number three, that uh, the, the data in the transmission packet, uh, transmission router server, the audit logs should be preserved for three years from the election period. Three years po yan. Uh, hindi ko po alam kung pumapayag po ang uh, PLDT, ang SMART, na pwedeng i- uh, i- I preserve yung data nila for the three years. But yan po ang minimum kaya ko. Number four, at siguro po, uh, ito po, napaka-importante, dapat po pagbigyan ang third party. Third party po, uh, identified by, uh, maybe by the by the Senate Committee on Electoral Reforms, by the House Committee on Electoral Reforms, by the IT community, uh, independent um, auditors to take a look at the transmission router or um, audit logs. Yan lang po. Maski po, mangganda ang ating, uh, ang ating uh, pag-transmit, 
ang ating manual uh, recording of votes maski maganda po ang pag pagsalubong o pag uh, pag uh, transmit po sa transparency server sa BOC sa Omelex server ang data na supposedly galing sa presinto ang pinakaimportante po para sa akin ay ang transmission router server wala na pong iba yan po ang dapat po pagtuunan ng pansin at dapat po maging transparent ang COMELEC to po po dyan. Salamat po. Thank you very much. Would Commissioner Casquejo care to respond? Um, Apo Marlon? Yes, yes, Madam Chair. Uh, sa pagkaalam ko, Madam Chair, we already submitted to the uh, COMELEC Advisory Council all the, the audit logs, not only the transparency but all the audit logs. Uh, so, Yung mga request kasi namin, pinakors to na namin through the uh, Comelec Advisory Council. And then they already conducted their own uh, investigation. So as of now, uh, hindi ko pa alam kung ano yung resulta ng kanilang investigation. So yung request siguro ni yung kanina uh, nagsabi, I don't know, uh, nasaan na yung request nila. But we can always course through to the CAC because uh, we are very much aware of what happened in the 2019 in the transmission of the 7 hour bridge. That is why we make sure that everything is transparent. So lahat ng mga audit logs uh, pinapakita namin and then the request is through the Comelec Advisory Council na yun ang ginawa namin. So I don't know what happened to the request of the, uh, the gentleman a while ago. And uh, with regards to sa kanyang suggestion, we are open naman for suggestions. In fact, we already have our terms of reference for the transmission. And uh, again, uh, we give that to the to the CAC through the Secretary of the ICT, Secretary of NASA, of our terms of reference. You can always ask the ICT for that. And even the PPCRB also give the terms of reference. Uh, just uh, maybe you can look at into the terms of reference and then you can uh, insert your comments and suggestions so that we can adjust with our terms of reference for the transmission. Yes, um, Commissioner. Meron pong kopya niyan, yung terms of reference. Pago po yan for 2022 or uh, yes. are those the same terms as previous uh, elections? Yeah. That will be for 2022. May mga binago kami doon uh, to prevent the 7-hour glitch uh, as to the server, as to the uh, end user or the end uh, laptops. Kasi nangyari kasi doon, we, we uh, do, uh, suspect siya namin kaya nagkaroon ng parang ano doon, parang 7-hour uh, glitch, uh, getting data from the transparency server going to the media entities. Eh, sila yung nag-provide ng kanilang mga laptops and everything. So maybe there's a an issue of something like uh, incompatibility whatsoever. So we include that in our terms of reference. And not only that, we also include in our terms of reference that uh, the voters receipt uh, will be also, we also be transmitted to the transparency server and that is uh, open for download to, uh, by anyone. Uh, yung voters receipt in every clustered precincts para kung maka-download sila ng kanilang voters receipt they can conduct their own uh, manual uh, counting for that so may mga other enhancement pa doon with the TOR and then we are willing to provide copy uh, 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 dito po sa hearing na to after this you mentioned po there was an investigation, but that was only an uh, internal investigation. Ang COMELEC rin ang nag-investiga sa sariling COMELEC? No, or Madam Chair. May COBA the... o may DICT o uh, yung police at yung mga cyber. Uh, kayo rin ba ang nag-investiga nun? No, Madam Chair. Uh, we turn over it to the COMELEC Advisory Council composed of the ICT, the OST, and other... Uh, uh, non-government agency. Sila na po yung nag-conduct. Uh, we have no hand on how they conduct the investigation. Have the results come through? May uh, resulta well, na ba yung investigation? Hindi namin na... Uh, we always following up with the results of the investigation pero wala pa silang napakitang resulta except that only yung 7-hour uh, glitch meron na silang resulta doon uh, coming from the PPCRB at that time and then my explanation din yung smartmatic kung bakit nangyari yun or ganun. But uh, with the other investigation... Kaka ko kasi yung TOR lumabas as a result of the investigation. Pero wala pang resulta yung investigation, may bago na tayong recommended TOR, tama ba yun? Tama ba yun? 
uh, may recommended tayo terms of reference para lang uh, to address to address those uh, kung ano yung medyo kailangan natin i-enhance for the 2019. Uh, hindi naman siya result ng investigation kasi like for example, the VVPAT, the voter's receipt, uh, is not part of the investigation. Yung additional uh, uh, end user or yung laptop, uh, yung magpo-provide na mismo yung ating uh, provider, kung sino man yung mananalong bidder, uh, hindi naman siya part ng investigation yan. Yun lang naman yun. At saka marami pa kaming uh, enhancement, hindi ko lang ma-recall lahat. Sige, pero uh, karapat dapat na merong independent uh, audit, hindi po ba? Or uh, at least a, uh, uh, a different uh, investigator, hindi lang sa loob, ano? Nandito rin yung CAC? Uh, may representative doon yung CAC? Tama po ba? Uh, secretary? Meron bang CAC representative? Ang pagdinig ko, meron eh. Well, ang ano po kasi, ang CAC na dyan po, ang DICT, na sila po yung, yung chair, si, si DICT secretary po yung chair po siya kasi ng CEC. And then yung ano po, um, nandyan po rin yung TTCRV, may representatives ng NAMFREL, kasama po sila sa CEC. Yung nabanggit tungkol sa investigation, yung representative po ng DICT, DOST, nandang sinamali ka intik, ang mga suki na natin. Meron pa kayong komentaryo tungkol dito sa investigasyon? Natapos na po ba yan or uh, wala pa? Yes, uh, Yusek Mani. Sorry, Dana, hindi ko marinig si Yusek Kaintik. Hello, ma'am. Napindot ko yung mute. Uh, naririnig nyo na po, ma'am? Uh, yung sa glitch nga nung sa transmission, tama po si Commissioner Casquejo, uh, we're basing it on the PPCRV uh, audit kasi sila na rin po ang nag-umpisa talagang mag-analyze nun that that was submitted to the CAC. Doon sa yung sa mga BCM, uh, in one of the meetings last year, initially we thought of having the PNP and the NBI do the uh, investigation. However, uh, it seems that they are restricted with the fact that there has to be a formal complaint kasi the process of them kasi doing an investigation, it has to be in the context of a, uh, a complaint. So wala namang complaint because this is like an audit. So... I believe the last meeting of the CAC was that parang parehas dito sa sinasuggest ngayon, we are in the process of securing a, an independent audit instead. The CAC will recommend uh, getting the services of an independent audit. But unfortunately, ma'am, uh, mula nung nag-COVID, hindi pa kami nakapag-convene ulit. So perhaps that's will, that will be one of the things that we are going to tackle in the next CAC meeting. Thank you po, Mr. Chair. Uh, Madam Chair. Yes, thank you. Um, so, um, maasahan ba ni Attorney Guevara at sina Alex Ramos at yung iba pang narito na masasagot yung panilang uh, query tungkol dun na nga sa 2019? Sige po, ma Madam Chair, we will make it a, a, a topic in the next CEC meeting na mapasecure mapa yung pagkuha ng external audit po ito, Madam Chair. Thank you po. Okay, thank you. I think um, Toti Casino and Nelson Celis uh, wanted to uh, speak. Is that correct? Toti, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, first off, uh, don't uh, design the uh, formulaic for the uh, pre-printed ballot. What are the safeguards to avoid the uh, overvote? Because in the last election, in 2019, there was a reported like 6 million to 7 million ballots were nullified because of overvote. And in 2016, about 2 million were recorded as overvote because of the pre-printed. Why the option to go hybrid is to do away with the pre-printed ballot so that uh, the number of uh, spaces provided for are exactly for the number of positions, that's one or not. Second, in the last election in 2019, Kwamelec said that there are 17 regional hubs. 
and in 2016 they had 12 regional hubs. Uh, what are the functions of this regional hub? And in spite of that, you, may, you still have a transparency server. Because as far as uh, we in Philippine Computer Society are concerned, with the 17 uh, regional hubs, and the thank you for the explanation of uh, Mr. D, uh, Jeffrey D, with the proxy server, you can be able to cut down the transmission to the website so that uh, to do away with the projector uh, and to save uh, government money from the projector, if everybody already has a, uh, a uh, mobile smartphone that will show the display of the results by a, by a website, they can already see the tally per precinct, per municipality, per province, if that regional hub would operate that way. And uh, that will be cost a lot of substantial savings instead of spending 24 billion uh, for the 2022 election. Public might only probably budget something like 10 billion. That's more than enough to put up a very robust uh, website and a smaller uh, ballot paper. Uh, uh, that we see, and to do away with the uh, transparency server because people can already see it instantaneously, the results that have been transmitted to digital certificates uh, certificate issued by the Department of ICT uh, that the posting on the website are secure, provided also that uh, they use uh, BPN or virtual private network. That way, the transmission is already closed in. Uh, it will not be intercepted by any other hacker. So we, we feel that with the regional hub, that uh, the, the Comelec did last 2019 election, that is more than enough power to ensure that the results as it's already been seen on the precinct can be posted on a website at the precinct level. Not only that, it even accounts for every candidate, the number of votes that each candidate has, has garnered, be it in the local or in the national position. That is all, Madam Chairman. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And um, I suppose uh, our Pongalek is also here, so they can respond. Um, perhaps the burning question, ano nga yung 17 na regional hubs na nire-recommend natin? Anong kayang gawin? At talaga bang uh, functional lahat yan? Dahil marami tayo nababalitaan na parating nagtalaan din sa Santa Rosa o sa Ampanyon. Uh, kahit sa dulo ng daigdig ang uh, pinagkalingan. Yes, Commissioner Paul. Okay. Uh, yung regional technic, uh, regional hub, actually it's a regional technical hub. Uh, ginawa namin yung regional technical hub in anticipation of uh, possible uh, effects of the SD cards or damaged SD cards or corrupted SD cards. So once na may damaged SD cards, uh, tatakbo doon yung electoral board bringing with uh, him or her the SD cards. And then doon, i-contact ko the OST that is manned actually by the DOST, i-contact doon mag uh, e, uh, kukuha ulit ng bagong configuration from the Santa Rosa uh, memory room and then doon ipapadala doon doon sa regional technical hub yun lang po yung purpose ng regional technical hub but uh, again the suggestion of uh, uh, attorney Toti is a uh, uh, much uh, very well taken pwede naman din natin dagdagan natin yung functions ng regional technical hub para uh, maging transparent yung elections natin. But for 2019 elections, yun lang po yung naging function ng Regional Technical Hub. And hindi naman din COMELEC yung nagmamando doon. Uh, it's the DOST personnel uh, just to make sure na may ano talaga, transparency at uh, accountability. I see po. Uh, matanong lang, magkano yung purely manual na barangay elections nung nakaraan taon? Mm, hindi ko ano kabisado yung amount ang malaki lang kasi na bulk doon na ano uh, amount is the salary or the honorarium of the electoral board kasi yung number of clustered precincts natin is uh, uh, it will uh, increase thrice kasi uh, 400 registered voters lang ang pwedeng i-cluster doon uh, 400 300 so ang bulk of the payment will be 
the electoral board which is pareho din sa babayaran uh, yung amount ng each uh, honoraria nila ganun din pero hindi masyado malaki as compared to automated elections if, if uh, the chair may request uh, kung magkano yung purely manual para may idea po kami dahil uh, sa susunod na buwan budget time na at yun na, nakapending na yung 24 billion para we have a basis for a real comparison and a true judgment. Uh, kung ano nga ba. Kasi kapag hybrid ng sinabi, parang nagbawas ka ng automation, dapat magnura rin. Kaso mukhang magiging mas lalo pang mahal imbis na nagbaba yung presyo. Parang kabaliktara ng uh, mangyayari. Yes, Madam Chair, kapag nag-hybrid tayo, meron tayong laptop and everything, transmission and everything. Uh, mas, uh, mas, mas mahal siya as compared to uh, the, the existing system or compared to purely mas mahal o yung hybrid system. So marami pa kaming backlog sa mga request uh, for information from Comelec. If I could uh, just push, I'm aware that uh, some of these items were actually uh, considered at the unbank today. Pwede lang dagdag na lang yung request na for the budget of uh, previews, purely manual, para kay election last year. So uh, uh, gusto ko rin tawagin sana kasi hindi pa nakakapagsalita yung um, telco. Mukhang may mga representative rin dito, yung Globe at yung Smart. Uh, I think uh, perhaps they would have something to tell us. Are there safety features? All these questions about pure routing and uh, the uh, identical data package being transferred or transmitted from end to end. Can we hear po from Telcos, uh, Secretary Dana, sino ang representative ng ating Telco? For Globe, it's Attorney Ariel Subayan. And for SMART, it's Attorney Roy Ibay. Good, uh, good afternoon, Madam Chairman. Am I uh, heard? Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon po. Uh, yeah, I was listening to all the discussions and I think uh, among up on, uh, in every step of the way, uh, the political process is transparency. And then I was also uh, listening to a suggestion where uh, I are being asked to preserve the the data logs, uh, para naman po e eh, uh, mapapakita po to. Is amin po in our uh, contract with the providers, the Smartmatic, we collect those logs, provided them within a, a certain number of days. And then by uh, by law also of the National Telecommunications Commission. Uh, usually, we uh, preserve uh, data logs only up to a maximum of period of four months. But if uh, if uh, the Comelec uh, directs us to have a longer period to preserve this log, then we, we will uh, uh, comply, uh, Madam Chairman. You said you said that the data logs were only supplied to Smartmatic, not to Comelec. Uh, uh, our client, uh, Madam Chairman, is uh, Smartmatic. We don't have a privity of contract with the Comelec. So we just provide the transport, uh, the connectivity uh, between the precincts and uh, the servers of our client, uh, Smartmatic uh, Mother Chen. I see. And um, apropos of uh, the earlier discussion, yung uh, nagkakaduda from stage to stage, na yung uh, data packet is not the same. Are there, uh, in addition to data logs, any other uh, safety features we can add, perhaps, or other uh, other uh, records we can check to make sure that this is the identical packet? Uh, yes, ma Madam Chairman. I think in addition to the independent uh, audit of the source code by third parties, I uh, I think it's also possible to have a deep packet inspection to determine uh, the the packets actually a random the deep packet inspection so it may be recommended uh, as a one of the uh, technical audits to be done in addition to the source code audit uh, madam chairman sorry you're recommending an independent audit of source codes by a third party as well as random uh, inspections is that correct yes madam chairman to satisfy the 
I think one of the concerns expressed a while ago is so uh, where do the pockets go? So yeah. I think uh, one way, a uh, technical uh, way of doing that is uh, to conduct a deep packet inspection by, I think, uh, independent third parties, perhaps accredited also by the public. Yes, that's right. Um, so um, you have any knowledge also of these random servers that have been mentioned because there's a great deal of discomfiture regarding more than one server why is the uh, transmission not direct to a single server um we were told earlier by comelec and the commissioner that in fact this is a technical solution to uh, a great deal of data um can you comment on this please from the part of the telco because you have boasted repeatedly about your capacity to handle great amounts of data uh, yes, Madam Chairman, as uh, mentioned by uh, uh, Commissioner Casquejo, it's a technical solution. We provide the connectivity to where the servers are uh, to the, uh, at the data center identified. But I, 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 I also heard that uh, uh, one of the speakers a while ago mentioned that the, the data center should be identified. But uh, I think the concern there is what if some uh, unscrupulous persons uh, Bent of sabotaging the election, attack that data center. So I think that's one of the reasons why uh, the data, the the location of the data centers, are kept uh, secret uh, before the elections, Madam Chairman. But then we all know that Comelec is intramuros, but we are not inclined to attack it. Uh, yes, Madam Chairman. Uh, well, I think that because the 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 data resides in the data center, Madam Chairman. So. Uh, it's actually uh, that that uh, site is the most uh, sensitive because that's where all the data on the elections are uh, kept, Madam Chairman. Yes, uh, you've um, you've insisted that your client is Smartmatic, not Comelec or anyone else, because they are the ones who signed the contract with you. Perhaps would you uh, be able to tell us, you stage by stage. Ano ba yung procedure niyan? Kasi nalilito ang lahat eh, ang daming server, parang ang daming router. Paano nga ba to? Siguro kahit na hindi ngayon, kung makapagsubmit sana kayo, paano nga yung proseso sa pagkaintindi ng ating mga IT at higit sa lahat ng telco na siya mismo ang nag-handle? Uh, uh, yes, Madam Chairman. I think uh, we will provide the diagram of uh, this uh, appreciation. Uh, maybe not today, but uh, in the next few days. Sure, sure. Yes. Uh -huh. So thank you. We'd be very grateful because hindi naman kami IT at higit sa lahat hindi naman kami telco engineer then. So kung mare paliwana nala kasi nagkakaduda talaga pag hindi mo na intindihan. So thank you very much. And um, is there any other representative from the other telco? Ah, uh, Dana. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Uh, see, yeah. see, attorney Levi. Okay, okay, okay. Smart. Thank you. Uh, yes. Is there anything you can add to this to the discussion? I don't want to keep you forever, but perhaps from Smart we can hear some additional safety features. Yeah. Just, just, just to uh, briefly supplement what my uh, uh, colleague uh, from from Globe uh, 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 elaborated earlier is that we will ensure that. Um, uh, well, similar to to what uh, Attorney Tobayan mentioned, that uh, we were both contracted by Smartmatic during the last elections. We 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 are continuously also trying to improve our network availability and uh, our security to ensure the integrity uh, uh, the, in the coming uh, elections, uh, Madam Chair. So, just I, we just wanted to reiterate that the process of upgrading our network. To, to really uh, ensure uh, security, especially now, no, that given that the uh, pandemic caused uh, a lot of us to really work from home, we uh, upgraded a lot of our cybersecurity measures also in order to make sure that uh, the data integrity that is sent through our networks will, will, will be adequately protected, uh, Madam Chair. Okay, Attorney Iba, um... Pero siguro yung katanong ko, do you, do you suppose our, um, our electoral transmission system right now is as transparent as it can be? Or are there other measures we can undertake to make it even more transparent so that the public is uh, not uh, in doubt as to the results of the election? 
Well, um, Madam Chair, uh, looking at the data from uh, the past uh, elections, uh, we well, I see that uh, most of the uh, results were actually transmitted during the first uh, three hours. No, so what would be very crucial would be the first three hours after the polling uh, places have closed. So we will, we will have to probably uh, make sure that uh, current security measures will even be improved to, to uh, preserve the, the sanctity and the integrity of the results by then, uh, Madam Chair. You, you have no comment on the different uh, servers. Hindi ba pwedeng isimplify yan? Isa na lang, kaliwanag, pakikita ng tao. Maglipat-lipat nung uh, data packet, pakikita nila na narito na sa level ng region, narito na sa COMELEC, uh, pakipaliwanag na lang po. As, as, as far as I know, there is a, a, a published data center, but there is a backup data center that is supposedly... Uh, uh, conveniently hidden or a secret, no? so that uh, whatever happens to the main data center, there's a resilient uh, backup data center that uh, is actually uh, made confidential. No? Uh, and uh, as far as I know, I, 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 that has worked no? with the past uh, two or three elections. And um, I, I think if there are other, I'm not, I'm not a technical person, but if there are other uh, security technical measures that can be adopted, then then we're uh, the the uh, that would be, be best for uh, all parties, Madam Chair. Okay, um, thank you very much. Uh, does Commissioner Casquejo wish to make any additional comments? Or uh, our uh, yes, uh, uh, Commissioner. Uh, yes, Madam. Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, yes, Commissioner Casquejo. Medyo kinabahan na naman kami kay Attorney Iba. Eh. Meron na naman secret backup data center. Nakaka-nervous yung mga secret-secret na yan eh. Actually, it's just a backup of all the data in the central server. Uh, just in case na magkaroon ng problema doon sa central server, meron tayong backup. Yun lang naman po yes. yung purpose. Understood. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Oo. It's not necessarily si Mr. Bob. Yes. With regards to yung yung uh, pag-preserve, uh, maybe you can include that in our POR so that the leader will have this uh, preservation of the uh, data logs or transmission log uh, for three years. So we will include that and it will cost maybe some oh, okay. additional budget for that. Opo, kasi sa... Masagado malaki yan. Tama, kasi sa katagalan ng electoral protest, alam naman natin na imposible yung formats na sinasabi. Uh, speaking yes, of which, mirroring interesting na uh, formulation dito sa recent last week Singapore election, uh, it's the latest of the national elections, meron silang automatic uh, recount provision. I don't know if that would work here. Kapag 2% or less ang difference between the two top candidates, may automatic electronic recount. No protest needs to be filed. Magri recount talaga. Um, would that be very onerous or would that simplify the backlog of protests that we have at Comelec? Well, that is advantageous to the Comelec kasi pag may automatic recount, uh, pag may discrepancy of 2%, siguro uh, that is advantageous to the Comelec kasi that is to declug all election protests. Uh, kasi pag... Uh, nakita naman doon na wala namang discrepancy or hindi siya ano we can automatically dismiss it so that is uh, possible but then again uh guru baka kailangan ng batas yan or a resolution ng the comelec like for that purpose Yes, thank you. Kasi alam namin, nakatambak sa inyo, napakaraing kaso. And uh, we're very grateful, uh, Commissioner, and to the Comelec for your openness to all these suggestions. Uh, napakaraming suggestion talaga. Um, sana, inaasahan ko sana, nagka-run through tayo nung recommendation ninyo na COVID nga lang ang buong mundo. So, as a result, um, we have to uh, work on the TWG. So, siguro magra-round up na lang ako na sana magpadala. Uh, Ayun na siguro. Commissioner Casquejo, you're
your representative should be part of the TWG. In addition, of course, yung Senate panel, yung ilang representative sa amin. At uh, siguro magkukumbida na rin tayo ng DICT, DOST. At uh, syempre, kinakailangan magkaroon ng konting forum sa lahat ng stakeholders. At higit sa lahat, yung mga IT expert, uh, magkukumbida tayo so that we can convene at TWG. Dahil ang pangako natin na by the opening of session, end of July, may isasubmit na tayong hybrid uh, report. So, kailangan yun. Medyo aggressive yung deadline natin, so I'd welcome all your help. Um, so, Secretary Dana, um, we need to uh, put together a TWG. At uh, importante that uh, we get the best and the brightest to help us formulate this. Okay po, ma'am. Okay. So, Hello, Attorney Dina. So we, no, we have to wait for the chair. Yes. So thank you very much. I'm just rounding up and um, tasking that, uh, in fact, uh, maraming salamat sa lahat ng dumalo at uh, medyo talagang uh, na-COVID tayo. Hindi tayo nakapag-run through tulad ng uh, gusto namin sana ni Commissioner at ng buong COMELEC, pati si Commissioner ko. Uh, Nagpapaumanin po tayo. But thank you very much for being here anyway. Let us put together a TWG at the earliest possible time. And uh, to all of you, let us have the best electoral process that we can master. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. 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 Thank you.